But one of the biggest things we've been able to do is try to minimize some of those risks that uh, we've commonly talked about in the past, but they still are there. As you mentioned, it is a big operation. The most common risks for hip surgery are always anytime you make an incision, there's the risk of not healing or an infection. There's always risk of bleeding, but that's actually been quite minimized with medications and modern technologies now. Uh, there's always a risk of blood clot, and so your doctor will talk to you about using some medications to minimize your risk of a blood clot in the leg or to the lungs. For hip surgery in, in general, there's always the risk of the uh, dislocation where that ball can pop out of the socket. It's a very low risk and actually with a direct anterior approach, that risk is even more minimized compared to prior surgical approaches. We've now transitioned to doing more and more of these surgeries on a same day or even next day basis of being in the hospital. Um, that is because we've been able to do them in a more safe manner, minimizing some of those risks. And for some of our more active younger patients, leaving the same day is just as safe and beneficial to them as staying for one night. Now we understand that there are still patients that are going to require more help and are a little bit older and have other medical comorbidities that might mean that they need to stay longer. And we certainly accommodate that and make sure that they're cared for just the same. In the year 2000, the plastics that we would use as the art surface that we articulate against were improved and at that time it was only going to last 10 to 15 years. Now our current plastics can last anywhere from 20 to maybe 30 plus years based off of what we see clinically and in the laboratory. Hip surgery is quite interesting and especially through a direct anterior approach. The hip pain that patients experience at before surgery is almost instantaneously removed at the time of surgery. Now, patients still have some discomfort afterward, but that's more muscular skin discomfort, something that you know and kind of feel is going to get better, almost like a bad Charlie horse or a bad bruise. And yes, there are medicines that we need to do and give to patients at times to help them through that an early process. But for hip surgery in general, most patients are using very little medicines by a week or two weeks after surgery, and maybe even just using Tylenol. So it's quite impressive with hip surgery how minimal some of the pain is and how pretty quickly patients get feeling better.